and welcome to the DRL Sim Academy and your first steps towards taking your first flight. In this video, we'll cover the basics of controls, explaining what they are and how they affect the drone's movement, and we'll cover how to maintain control while hovering, the first step towards flying an FPV or first-person view drone. For this session, we'll be flying in pro mode or acro, which means there are no restricted movements on the sticks and no assists or auto stabilization. You will have full manual controls of the drone. Controls. Let's start with the controller sticks. For this scenario, we'll be in mode two controller setup. The mode refers to the layout of stick movements on the controller, throttle and yaw on the left stick and pitch and roll on the right. Let's start with the throttle stick. This is the left stick moving up and down. It will increase the speed that all four propellers spin together. The higher you move the stick, the more throttle is increased and the drone will ascend. And of course, by lowering the throttle stick, the props will spin less and the drone will descend. Next is the yaw stick. Moving the left stick to the right and left will allow the drone to rotate on the horizontal plane, like a record spinning in either direction. Moving to the right stick now. This will be the pitch and roll stick. Let's start with pitch. Pushing the right stick up and down will rotate the drone forward and backwards. Think front flip and back flip. This is used to make the drone fly forward and fly backwards when also applying throttle at the same time. Next is roll. Moving the right stick to the right and left will allow the drone to barrel roll to the right and to the left. Keep in mind that once the stick is let go, the drone will keep that angle until you correct the movement in the opposite direction. Now that you understand what each stick does and how it affects the drone, let's get into the first step of flying, hovering. For this training session, we'll start at 20 degrees camera tilt, a more or less standard starting point. This is the angle at which the camera is facing. We'll also be using a 120 degree FOV, or field of view. You can make these changes by hitting escape and moving the sliders accordingly. Also a small tip, once the mouse cursor is over the slider, you can use the scroll wheel on the mouse for more precision. We'll also be using the crosshair on the display to train with. Hit escape settings, options, and then turn on crosshair. The first step to FPV flying with racing drones is controlling or maintaining the drone's position. Once mastered, you'll find the basis of this control in all parts of flying. Let's start by increasing the throttle stick slowly until the drone lifts off the ground. Once it does, stop moving the stick up and hold a position on the stick. You may notice the drone continues to lift, now lower the stick slowly until the drone descends and then move the stick up and down little by little until you are able to maintain a hover. Let's try to keep the crosshair within the middle of the white DRL section on the flag. Keep in mind that the drone will move around a bit, so you will have to counter the movements on the sticks. If it's lifting too much, lower the stick, and if it's dropping too much, raise the stick. Now let's land the drone by decreasing throttle very slowly until it's on the ground. Note. You may have to increase throttle a little bit right before it hits the ground to obtain a soft landing. If you have moved far off course, let's hit the restart switch or the E key on the keyboard to put us back on the starting position. Now let's do it again. You should notice that you're able to maintain control a bit easier this time. If not, don't worry, keep trying until you finally can. Once you can maintain that section of the flag, let's try keeping the crosshairs within the top red portion of the flag. You'll notice this is a bit harder with less space to move about. Really focus on the smallest movement on the stick this time. Once you're able to hold position, let's lower the throttle and land softly. And of course, let's do this again. Keep practicing these simple throttle control movements until it's second nature to you. Allow your muscle memory to really get a hold of snapping the drone up into the air and holding position. Once you've mastered this, it's time to move on. So be sure to watch the next video in the DRL Sim Academy but we take it one step further, getting you one step closer to flying like a pro.